What up the tube? How's it going guys? Just got home from Mahi and uh, come over to a few parcels actually. Um, at the moment I'm actually filming on the GoPro Hero 5 Black and um, yeah I lost my selfie stick. I was using my selfie stick. That was quite cool but uh, I lost that the other in the weekend. Anyway um, yeah got some uh, some mail here. Quite exciting. So I'm gonna open it up. Alright first one. Department of Conversation. I think this is um, my hunting permit. Chat, hunting permit. Yeah, the hunting permit for the Kawaka Forest Park and the Ruahinis. Bullfire. So yeah, keeping updated on those hunting permits, that's pretty easy. You just ring them up and they can send you a physical copy out. Or they will email you a copy, some shit like that. So, yeah, I encourage everyone else to do the same. It's, it's not hard, just a quick phone call and you just get it sussed or you can do it online, I think. But, uh, yeah. So, me, hunting permit for the next three months. Bullfire. What else do we have here is... Um, I think this is my, um, my Wi-Fi thing. Or I call it Wi-Fi, bloody broadband internet thing. Yeah. Open it up. Yeah, my brother helped me uh, the other night, set it all up. Got some sort of plan of uh, skinny. Yeah, here it is. Skinny broadband. This is going to be a, um, unlimited unlimited broadband. So pretty stoked about this. It's been so long since I've had my you know own internet. Just been topping up my phone and tapping into other people's internet to like upload vids and that so this is getting pretty exciting in my new place now it's all these small things like this eh? i'm absolutely buzzing like just the smallest things you know like a fridge is like far i got my own fridge you know washing machine got a couch in there tv's there but nah it's not really working but that doesn't matter um just the smallest things got my own little area got my own space and yeah i just really appreciating the little things in life you know after living in a tent and just just living pretty like gypsy like for the whole year really um it's nice to be it's nice to be you know grounded again and have some place of my own so yeah we'll get that set up hopefully they'll be going in a few days and also about a week ago i got this camera sent out by uh follow reese uh he's actually a youtuber too mad fisho Go check him out if you want to do those hunting vids. He does some pretty mean hunts, pretty straight up, you know, raw sort of hunts and um, gets in the bush and gets it done. Um, yeah, so he sent me that for nothing, absolutely nothing. I'm so stoked. Um, brand, oh, pretty much brand new camera. Um, I'm yet to use it, uh, but yeah, thanks, brother. That's so generous of you, man. It's me. Uh, anyway, something else I bought the other day from the warehouse was this container over here. Maybe you can see that this here. Uh, it's about 40 bucks, and I just wanted it because oh, to get a bit more organized with all my hunting gear and all my filming equipment. You know, I can put it all in the different compartments. You know, probably put all my filming stuff in here, you know, like binos and just accessories for your hunting, and maybe a bit of food or something. So just get a bit more organized. I've um, oh, just been sick of you know, shit all over the place, and um, just want it all to be organized all in one spot so i know where everything is so i'm not searching for batteries and cords and i don't know your bloody you know binos or something range finder oh where's the maps you know like it'll all be in one spot so that's going to be quite mint as well anyway carrying on i have a video to do of some of my hunting equipment some of my gear uh, just real basic kit and that and um I actually filmed this, I found some footage on my laptop, I actually filmed it probably like, I don't know, six, nine months ago or something. I was like, oh true, I remember this, I never really uploaded it. I have got some different gear, I pretty much still got all the same gear, but obviously um, my filming equipment is different now. I've got the GoPro, um, obviously going to try this camera out, my other one's stuffed, and um, my rifle's still the same, what else did I change? Oh, my binos, our binos are still the same, they're still a Leopold. 8 by 40s I think they are, uh, no 8 by 30s, 8 by 30s and they're just a newer version because I lost my old pair. Other than that pretty much still got all the same hunting equipment so yeah I'll run you through it guys now, check this out. So here's my um, basic kit and gear I guess you call it, 
and uh, I suppose I'll just quickly go through it. Yes, yeah, so here we have it. Here's my uh, camera equipment. So just basic as tripod. That was only 50 bucks. Here we have the uh, Panasonic V180 little handheld camera. So a 90 times optical zoom. Uh, yeah, just takes your SD card in underneath there. Uh, he's got the screen on it. Just flip that out like that. And uh, yeah, 400 bucks for that. It's 1080p, the quality. Here we have a portable charger I take up. This cost me 70 bucks. So it's got the two slots in there for USB. You charge two things at once. That's pretty cheap. Got another little sort of like GoPro type camera. I hardly ever use this, eh? Like, I know just the battery on it, super shit. You're lucky to get five, ten minutes out of one battery. It does got real good quality, it does have 4K in that, but I'm always using the Panasonic V180 instead. Over here we have uh, MSR tent, uh, this two man tent, um, bloody awesome, light as, pretty hearty, uh, especially if you like camping out, you're going with a mate or something, he can carry the poles and you can just carry the tent in the fly, sort of evens out the weight a bit. Uh, real basic sort of knife there for steel. No, oh, that might have cost me like 70 bucks for that setup for farmlands. Uh, this here, these man, these little can openers. If you haven't got one of these, I suggest you invest in one. Look how light they are, cheap as. And how often do you forget a can opener? A map. <clears throat> oh, my old school man. I don't care about this GPS stuff. I always take in a map of the area I'm going in. And that's how I roll. Old school man. Learn to read maps. If you can't afford a GPS <clears throat> headlight probably one of the first things you need to buy for new fellas young fellas getting into hunting headlight because you're going to be walking in the dark a lot another thing binos probably my favorite piece of equipment hunting equipment is binos um, just have yeah Leopold binos here 8 times 30 it's sort of not the best of the best uh, but hey, they do the job, and I spotted a lot of deer with those. If there's anything you want to get addicted to in hunting, I reckon is glassing, man. Use your binos flat out. When you sit down, pull them out. No matter where, just keep pulling your binos out, and you'll see more deer. That's one little tip from the do any hunter. I, For a young fella that wants to get into hunting, I'd suggest you buy a pair of binos before you even get your rifle. No shit. Get a pair of binos. <laughs> here we are here. Leopold rangefinder. Oh, I can't be bothered getting it out. Yeah, it's just a rangefinder. That was quite expensive actually, 600 bucks for that. Goes up to about 800 meters. And I don't really use it because, yeah, I don't know, I just don't really shoot long range. So, yeah, I always seem to bag deer within 200 meters and closer. So, yeah, it's all good. Basic as little gas burner here. This here only cost me like 40 bucks, I think it was, for that. And then you just buy the gas bottles. Um, and then the old billy, usually just slot that in there, like that. Sleeping bag, Domex sleeping bag, then it goes down to like minus eight, but that's all you need. And the sort of northern Ruahinis, it's all good, keeps you warm enough. And then the old pair of boots, man, I love these boots straight up. The old rubbers, Scalar Up Hikers, I've actually got two pairs of these. And uh, yeah, nah, they do me all right, it's all I need. And of course, you need something to put all that gear in. And that's the uh, K2 Hunter Pack. It's about 85 litres, this one. And it actually has a little day bag on the front, but I'll oh, day bags out in my truck or something. But uh, yeah, that's a bloody good pack, man. It doesn't have too much shit like hanging off it. It's real, <coughs> it's just real simple, man. It's got nice big pockets on each side, like that. Has a day bag that zips on here. So you can, you know, you can load your pack up and if you want to go out for a hunt, you leave your big pack at the camp or at the hut or something, then you can take your day bag out on your hunts and that. And I've actually put in two back stakes and two shoulders in that, in that day bag and you can carry the back legs on your shoulders as well over the top. Um, yeah, bloody good pack, K2 pack. And then, yeah, it's just got the big open bit in there and then just a little another zip pocket underneath there. A real basic, real simple, tough as, real tough material, and it just, it's actually frame on the back. I know some fellas don't like the old aluminium frames, but um, yeah, I reckon it's a real comfy for carrying heavy loads, or just any load. Real comfy on your back, and just, 
if you distribute your weight through your pack properly and set it all down like heavy stuff down the bottom man it's pretty it makes for carrying like a hell of a lot easier i love that pack i recommend k2 packs to anyone straight up if you're looking at getting a pack go for a k2 man they do come in different liters too this was 85 but um i think they are bigger and smaller ones check them out if you're looking at getting a pack these here, I don't even know if that, that's a bit of plastic bag I've tied on there. That's probably been on there for about five years. Haven't even got around to ripping it off. Where'd I go here? Air New Zealand. I'm taking it. Oh, this one went down to Timaru. Fencing comp. Anyway, yeah, that's my basic kit. Yeah, that's for you fellas that wanted to know. So yeah, it's basic as. Nothing too expensive. Everything pretty mid-range. And yeah. Sweet, so I hope you guys enjoyed that vid and got a bit of a rough idea about the gear and equipment I use for hunting and uh, maybe you might, you know, take on some of that equipment because, you know, I've uh, obviously, you know, to do any hunter, get out in the bush quite a lot and thrash my gear and I'm pretty happy with most of the stuff I have. Um, I never really talked about my rifle, oh, well, yeah, in that vid. It's just a uh, 7mm, 7mm uh, Sarko A7. Um, you know, oh, I'm not one to bloody brag about rifles and this and that you know just bloody you know goes bang and it's as straight as a cunt behind it so you know it's as simple as that um yeah in my next vid i will be uh what will i be doing i'm actually gonna go bush i'm gonna go bush i'm gonna actually do a full-on bush hunt because i have not been hunting for about two months honestly last time i went hunting was when i went up in the raw that was like the end of March, uh, so the start of April, and now we're coming into June, and I have not been for a proper hunt, and um, yeah, the withdrawal symptoms are real, and I just need to go do a full blown, like straight up hunting mission. Um, I'll take the boy boss, and uh, yeah, hopefully I can get something on the ground. I'll be after some antler, but I'll probably settle for anything, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next bit. Too much.